if you like tofu that is warabeske as we call it in nigeria you have clicked on the right video because i am going to show you how to make this deliciousness step by step from scratch to finish so hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'd like to welcome you specially thank you for clicking on this video and i hope you will join us by subscribing to this channel okay so let's get right into the video for today to make tofu or warabeske we need soybeans i have soaked these for five hours and i also rinsed twice i didn't bother to take off the skin because it doesn't come off easily besides it's going to go away with the chaff so there's no need to worry about that i added enough water to give this a smooth blend i first shared this video on instagram and that is why it is in this dimension pardon me with hundreds of thousands of views came lots and lots of questions and i thought why don't i make a longer video so i can answer all the questions remember we want to get a smooth blend and this blender did justice to that and look at this it is smooth i had to blend in two batches this is the second batch and i am through with blending also i use three cups of soybeans measuring cup a little soybeans and you end up with a lot of milk i added some water to this just to thin it out and i'm using a cheesecloth the same type we use for sieving a camu and i'm using that to extract the milk if you like this video after watching all of it make sure to give me a thumbs up before you leave done extracting the milk i'll transfer that to a pot and i'll set it on medium heat if you're someone who wants to lose weight you want to keep a healthy one or you just want to cut down on your meat intake tofu is the right way to go it is a plant-based protein with way less calories than beef please keep a close watch when boiling i looked away for just two seconds and this is the mess that happened you will find this foamy thing on the milk you can just take it out also you'll find that it can form a film like this you can take that out too as soon as the milk comes to a boil i will add coagulant i am using fermented pap water what the yorubas call umidu other substitutes for these are lemon or lime juice or vinegar i stirred that in and as soon as the coagulant goes into the milk you will start to notice these tiny cuddles and that will progress into this if you let it sit for a few minutes and finally you will have something larger chunks of cuddles like this one with a lot of clear water and that means all all the milk has cuddled up and you can now proceed to return these into the cheesecloth we used for extracting the milk earlier i have washed the cheesecloth and i'm transferring the cuddles of milk into this to extract water i am making plain tofu which i can season the way i like after i get the firm tofu some people like to season it at this point they would uh, let out some of the water and then add salt and all of that but i find that most of the time part of the seasoning go still go away with water since we have to press to get a firm tofu so this is plain and i will not be adding anything at this point i tied it up to put something on it to further extract the water to get firm tofu and this beauty is what i have this is very firm to touch at this point you can cut up your tofu and store for future use in an airtight container or cold water in the fridge it should last for three to five days but if you are like me and you cannot wait you cut them up immediately into these lovely cubes and immediately do justice to it <laughs> in places like Ilori and the northern part of nigeria this is very common for many of us who grew up in the north it was our go-to snack every afternoon this is what we spent our money on and it is worth it it is nutritious it is delicious and i love the texture it is everything about tofu for me i beg if you love love tofu say hi in the comments <laughs> done cutting and i'm going to season with some salt and stock cube i also added some of my homemade yaji spice i have the recipe on my channel here 
and i'm going to shake this up remember our tofu is firm so you don't need to feel that this is going to break apart i'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and proceed to deep fry in hot oil on medium heat you can also spray this with some oil if you're looking to do less oil and toss in your air fryer it will work perfectly too i don't have an air fryer i would have shown you just saying you can process it the same way you would process beef fish chicken and you can also use wara or tofu the same way you would use chicken beef or fish in your stew on your salad as a snack just enjoy it the way you like i fried these for about 10 minutes on medium heat till i got this beautiful golden brown color i also had a second batch it was a lot and you cannot believe the quantity of tofu i got from three cups of soybeans so that's it guys for today's video i hope you like this video if you do please show me by liking this video subscribing if you're not also share to your friends and loved ones so they can learn too if you try this recipe i would appreciate that you tag me on instagram i'll leave the link to my instagram in the description box i would love to know <laughs> thank you so so much for watching today's video i will see you with another fantastic recipe have a fantastic day and bye bye